Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an August wrap up and a September TBR. I've got my stack of books over here and I'm gonna just take you through all of them. All of these books will be linked in the description. I'm also gonna link my Goodreads down below if you wanna follow me on Goodreads. And this September TBR list will be on my Goodreads for the rest of this month. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed and check out the description to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting a lot more on TikTok recently. Um, so I'd love for you to follow me on there. Without further ado, Let's get into the video. All right, I'm gonna quickly run through my August reads. All of these books I got out of my library at home, so I don't have any of them with me. So I will be putting them up on the screen right here. I read quite a lot of lit fic in August because most of the books I read in August happened in the like one week that I was on a vacation at a beach. And so they're all like very light, easy reads, but I'll let you know what I read, what I rated it, and if I would recommend it. The first book I read was All the Lovers in the Night by Miyako Kawakami. I had really high hopes for this book because it was like highly rated on um, Instagram. I saw people recommending it and it was not good. I rated this book three and a half stars. It was so mediocre, like nothing was happening the whole book it was just kind of boring like the i thought the writing was going to be pretty especially the beginning like the first little bit of the book was really beautiful but the rest of the book was kind of boring so sorry but i did not like that book the next book i read was called caucasia by danzi senna i rated this book 4.25 stars i really like the way that the plot of this book moved and it was an interesting historical perspective there was definitely some stuff that was dated. Yeah, it was written in like the late 90s. But overall, I liked the character development and I thought it was a good story. Ooh, the sun is coming out. Sorry for the lighting changes. It's like a rainy slash sunny day outside. Next book I read is called One of Us is Lying. This one's pretty popular. It was YA, pretty predictable. I rated it three and a half stars. It was fun, but like I've definitely read better YA novels. The next book I read was called Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. I rated this one four stars. I went into this thinking it was gonna be bad, but I had the book like on my bookshelf and it was something I'd wanted to read. Um, but some people were like, oh, it's not that great. Like I wouldn't recommend it. But I actually really enjoyed it. The, I, I wish that the plot was like back and forth timeline rather than the way that the timeline was written just because I felt like it was a little bit boring at the beginning but I really liked the ending and I want to watch the movie too but I would definitely recommend this book. The next book I read was called The Lido by Libby Page and this book was about two people that meet each other and work together to save the community pool. It was really sweet. I gave it four stars. It was just like a cute little happy easy read. The next book, which was also a really sweet read, was called The Reading List by Sarah Nisha Adams. I gave this one 4.25 stars. I would definitely recommend it. It was just enough cheesy, but heartwarming. Um, had a little bit of a deeper meaning, and I definitely really enjoyed this one. The next book I read was called The Newcomer by Mary Kay Andrews. I saw somebody recommend this. I thought it was gonna be fun, but honestly, I didn't enjoy it that much. I gave it three and a half stars. There were like no plot twists, which is like, a bummer for a murder book. Anyway, I wouldn't recommend that one. The next book I read was called Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam, and I read this book in one morning. It was good, but I felt like it was missing something the whole time. Like, I kept waiting for like an explanation of what was going on. It may be the point of it that there was that there wasn't an explanation. And there were some themes of like race and class, but it felt very underdeveloped in my opinion. So I gave it 3.75 stars. But like it moved fast enough that I read it in like three hours. Anyway. And the last book I read in August was Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover and I did not like it. Um, I rated it three stars. Um, sorry to all you Colleen Hoover fans out there, but I am not a Colleen Hoover fan. Sometimes it's fun to read a book that's like fast and quick and sexy, but this book was sexy, but the rest of the plot was like bad. Like the spicy stuff was good, the rest was bad. Yeah, I don't know, I just felt like the plot was really boring. And I don't love Colleen Hoover's writing style. Sometimes her plot can be fun, like Verity was, I enjoyed reading Verity a lot. But um, yeah, definitely three stars. Now it's time for my September TBR. I have almost all of these books as physical copies that I can show you. Two of the books I don't have physically, so I will tell you about those now and then I will get into the ones that I have here in the stack. The first book, if you've seen my past two months TBR videos, I'll link them up here. Um, I've had this on my TBR for 
a few months now. Um, I'm like halfway done with it. Like I'm over halfway done with it. So it will definitely be finished this month. But it's Swimming to Antarctica by Lynn Cox. I have a copy on my phone. I just don't like reading on my phone and it's like I'm a little bored of it. But I do want to finish it. So um, that one will be done soon enough. The next book which I'm waiting for at the library is called Autumn by Ali Smith. Um, she has a collection of four different books that are like autumn, winter, spring, summer, whatever. So I'm gonna read them as the seasons come this year. I think I've been wanting to read them for a while. I'm like first or second on the list. So I will be getting that book soon. I'm excited to read like a little fall book. Okay, those are the books I don't have. So I'm gonna get into the books that I have sitting right next to me here. Of my September TBR, there are four books that I'm already currently reading. One of them was the one I just told you about. This is another one of them. Um, this is The Vanishing Half by Britt Benet. I am so excited to finally read this. This has been on my list for a long time. It's been recommended by so many people. It's pretty popular a couple years ago, but I just have not been able to get a copy on hold at the library. But I finally have one. And so far I'm enjoying it. It just was moving a little slow for me at the present moment. I needed something that was like fast paced, but I'm very excited to read this book. The next book, which has been one of the most recommended books I've seen on the internet is called Open Water. I honestly don't really know what the plot of this is about. I've just seen it recommended as like one of the most beautiful books ever. A book that's been recommended as like a quick, easy, one sitting read. I'm really excited to read this one. I've been wanting to read this book for a while. And I'm also so excited that I got a paperback copy out of the library. I love paperback books. So um, you will definitely be hearing about this book in my September wrap up. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video when it comes out in a few weeks. Next book, The Kite Runner. This book has been on my TBR list for a while now. I bought this copy at a used bookstore like maybe in March. One of my best friends said that it's one of the best books. Actually, the other popular book by this author, A Thousand Splendid Sons, was one of the best books she read, but she said read this one first because it's good, but it isn't as good as A Thousand Splendid Sons. So anyway, um, I'm excited to read this one. Next book is a nonfiction book about vaginas. <laughs> um, this has been on my TBR for a couple months, but I haven't included it in any videos because, I don't know, it felt a little racy, but it definitely isn't. Um, I'm just being dramatic. In my quest to read more nonfiction books, um, this is one I saw at my library's new nonfiction table. And this is another book that I'm already reading and so far I'm enjoying this one a lot. Definitely going to be finishing this one this month as well. Also like look how cool this co cover is. Obviously I had to get it. I don't care what people say about judging books by their cover. Like how else are you supposed to judge a book? Like, if you haven't read it, like how do you know? Following the theme of nonfiction books, I have this book called Why Are All the Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria. This book has been on my TBR for multiple years now. Um, and actually, let me show you this. Okay, so my boyfriend and I went to the National Book Festival this weekend, which was so much fun. They have like author talks and book signings and different things you can buy, whatever. Free event put on by the Library of Congress. If you ever find yourself in DC on Labor Day weekend, um, definitely go. It was, this is my second year going and I loved it. I got to meet Mitch Album and get my copy of Tuesdays with Maury signed, which was like a dream. Anyway, the point of me telling you this is that my boyfriend bought us these little library things to put in the back of our books. Look at how precious this is. And it has a little due date. So I have to read this book this month. They each come with this little slip to show who checked the book out. Um, anyway, I got to put some of these in my books. Um, but I think that's so cute. Anyway, this book is my boyfriend's. They have a lot of nonfiction books and um, this was the one that they recommended that I should read. So excited to read this one. This is the last book that I have on my TBR that I'm currently reading. This is the one I'm like presently, actively, actually reading right now. I needed something fast paced. And this is the sequel to the book I read last month, One of Us is Lying. It's like one of them is like their little sibling. It's like happening at the same school. It just it seems like a fun little YA, so reading this one now. The next book is Crying in H Mart. This has been on my TBR for so long. Um, and I own this copy actually. This, um, I accidentally bought large print because I ordered it off of like thrift books or something and I just picked the cheapest one. I didn't realize it was large print. It's supposed to be really, really good. And um, I'm excited to read this. Also been wanting to read more memoir style, like different genres of books. So this definitely fits in the not lit fic, which I read a lot of. Next book, which is lit fic, even though doesn't this give off mystery vibes? 
I still believe that this is a mystery, but it just isn't. This one I'm borrowing from my cousin. Um, I'm gonna see her next month, so I have to finish it this month. It's about like a family whose dad has Alzheimer's, I think. I don't know, it seems like a book about the beach and family. She said it was like good, a little slow, but I've been wanting to read it, so. Going to finish this one this month. The next book I have on loan from somebody in my family is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. She wrote Little Fires Everywhere, which I loved. I read that like a year or two ago and I've been wanting to read this one since. I've heard people like this one better than Little Fires Everywhere. Um, oh yeah, my aunt is letting me borrow this um, and I have to give it back to her in October. So excited to read this. Like, what do I say? I'm excited to read all of them. I don't know. I feel like I can keep saying the same thing. This is where my TBR list gets kind of hopeful because like, it is already hopeful. I have too many books on my TBR, guys. I, I never, I can't, I can't help it. Anyway, the next book on my TBR list is called They're There. I've heard that this is a great book. Um, I don't really know much about what this is about, but I've heard it's good and I've had this book on my bookshelf for a while, so um, I'm interested to read it. It also seems like a pretty quick read. Next book, which is a book for my father. Um, he has been telling me about this book for years and he gave me a copy to bring with me to school. It's called Breakfast with Buddha. And um, it seems pretty philosophical, but um, this is one of his favorite books and he's really been wanting me to read it. So I'm gonna make a point to read this. If not, if this doesn't happen this month, it will happen next month. Um, but this one is supposed to be really good. This next book I don't have high hopes about because I got, okay, I got this out of a little free library that I walked past the other day and I took it because I liked the cover and I like the little mystery books, but I was looking at the reviews on Goodreads and everybody's like, this is a boring mystery, like it's a boring thriller. But I feel like if it's quick, like it's a pretty short book, I feel like it can't be that bad. I don't know, I'll let you guys know after I read it. Um, but this is, I just want to read this this month since I just got it out of the little free library. And I do think the cover's pretty cool. I don't know, definitely nobody else has read this, so I'll let you know what I think when I finish it. And the last book on my September TBR is called Once There Were Wolves. This has kind of a like fall, autumn-y cover. It's about like Scotland and wolves, Alaska, sisters, biologists. I don't really know. The story behind this copy of this book is kind of cute. When I was at the beach a month ago, um, there was this one woman who we ran into. She was like set up next to our stuff pretty much every day. She was staying pretty close to where we were staying. And I got into a conversation with her one day and then I saw her and she was reading this book and I was like, oh my gosh, what are you reading? We talked about it, whatever. The next day I went back to the beach and I saw she was reading a different book and I was like, oh my gosh, you finished your book, how was it? And she goes into her bag and she pulls out this book and she's like, oh, I have something for you. And she just gave me the book. It was so sweet. I don't even know what her name was. She just was like so nice. Um, but I have this lovely copy of this book that I will be reading thanks to the stranger on the beach that gave it to me. I think this one's gonna be good. She said it was amazing. She read it in like a day, so. Those are all the books that I would like to read in September. As I always say, this is a very hopeful list. Probably not all gonna happen. Some of these I'm super excited to read, so I'm excited to talk about them in my September wrap up. Um, I like doing these videos, so I'll probably make one every month. Um, this one's a little bit late, but hopefully you don't mind. If you enjoyed this video and you're this far, you definitely should be subscribed. Um, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books or if there's a book on your September TBR you're very excited to read. And that's all for today. I will see you guys next week. Bye friends.